You know, Houston has a huge stray pet problem made worse by the global pandemic. And so that's where Houston Pet Set comes in. This morning, we are joined by Tina Lundquist Foss. Good morning, Tina. Uh, tell us a little bit about your nonprofit. We understand it's gotten the support of many people, including Astros pitcher Lance McCullers Jr. Yes, good morning. So nice to be with you. Um, we are blessed to be partnered with Lance McCullers Jr. on our efforts. Um, to answer your first question, Houston Pet Set is a nonprofit that works with other nonprofits. And really, our focus is to solve the problem of animal um, overpopulation and homelessness in Houston. And so we, we're working collaboratively with other groups um, on that front. Well, how has the pandemic affected it um, and shelters in particular? Well, it, you know, like everything else, it's gotten much worse. Um, the shelters have gone to a limited intake. It's called intake by appointment. And so they're taking in a lot fewer animals, thousands fewer animals actually, um, than they were before the pandemic, which leaves a lot of dogs and cats on our streets. And as you said at the beginning, um, we already had a problem with overpopulation and strays. Um, in the neighborhoods in Houston. And so this has only gotten worse, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, tell us about the services that you offer. We've offered, um, we've had to pivot a little bit in our in our programming. Um, before this, we were doing um, spay neuter services in neighborhoods. And with that mobile unit that provides those um, spay neuter surgeries, we've um, now moved to providing emergency vet services because with the pandemic, people can't afford vet services the way they used to. And so we've been able to provide about 250 emergency vet services to people who would otherwise have to either give up their animal or have them euthanized. Um, so that's one of our programs. We've also had to accelerate and increase the number of transports we do. There's a great demand for Houston and Texas animals in the northern states and even more so since the pandemic. Um, and so we've, we've um, started doing more transports because we have so many more animals that need, um, need good outcomes. Wow. Well, for people who want to help, uh, what can they do? Um, one of the things that they can do with regard to transport is to volunteer to foster. Um, you can go to our website and go to our info at and just make an inquiry about fostering. That would be very helpful um, because we need we need a transition period between getting an animal off the street and getting them on that transport to their new home. The other way that people can help is through donations. Again, go to our website and, and make a donation. $5, $10, $15 makes a difference, especially during these times when we're not just us, but other animal nonprofits are providing services beyond what, what everybody's budgeted for. Nobody planned on this. And it, since it's gotten worse, um, there's a lot more to do. And, um, and the funding would be incredibly helpful for getting animals off the streets. Absolutely. Well, we certainly appreciate the work that you do. Thanks for speaking with us. Thank you so much. All right. Well, it is nine.